Hi, Dave here with RadiationHealthRisks.com. I just want to do a quick review here on this uh, larger version of the Wi-Fi router guard. Some of you guys might have seen my other video where I did a review on, on the regular Wi-Fi router guard. Um, this is designed more for the, the bigger uh, stand-up type uh, uh, Wi-Fi routers, where this is more for the flat type that lay down, kind of like you can see mine there. So, um, what we're, how we're going to measure this, we're going to measure the radiation that's coming out of, it, of, the, of my Wi-Fi router. That's my Netgear Wi-Fi router. It's a 5 gigahertz router. Um, we're going to measure that with this meter that measures radio frequency or RF radiation. At these frequencies, it's the same thing as, as microwave. It is microwave radiation. So, um, this measures... Uh, the radiation in microwatts per meter squared. So when you see a number on here, if it says 34, it's 34 microwatts per meter squared, and it'll measure up to 2,000 microwatts per meter squared. If it picks up more radiation than that, it pegs the meter, and you just see a one there. So um, anyway, so what we're gonna do, I'll turn this on. Hopefully you'll see this pretty good. It's already pegging the meter. I don't know if you can see that there. So we'll set that down. Stick this in there. Okay. All right, so let's uh, see where that measures. Uh, if you can see that. It's down to 160, 180, 200, 140, 119. So hopefully you can see that. It's kind of bounced around a little bit there. So um, that's uh, basically it cuts out 95%. You can tell it was it was doing between uh, you know like 18, 1900 to over 2000 where it pegged the meter. So it's in that range. Um, and now it's 100, 200, once in a while 300 kind of range. So it's about 90 to 95% of the radiation gets uh, blocked with that. So one other thing I wanted to mention really quick is by far the safest route, um, they say no level of radiation is, is technically safe, um, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get your house, like if I had no, nothing in this house that put off RF radiation, like uh, cordless phones, baby monitors, smart meters, um, Wi-Fi routers, if I didn't have anything like that in, on, or around my house, um, when I have this and I'm measuring my house like that, kind of the baseline, it, it, it reads about three microwatts per meter squared. Your goal is to get your house down to between three and six microwatts per meter squared. You still got to get a meter to measure dirty electricity to get that down as well. But as far as RF radiation, that's what your goal is. Um, and so um, the safest way is if you have your house hardwired with Ethernet cables where you can have your Wi-Fi router, you can log into the settings of the Wi-Fi router and turn off turn off the uh, Wi-Fi altogether so you don't have any Wi-Fi and then you just have to plug your laptop, turn the Wi-Fi off on your laptop and then whenever, just plug it with an Ethernet cable into, into, the, uh, uh, you know, into the outlet there. Um, if you don't have that, you know, I've seen people run cords um, if, if their office is not that far away from the, where the Wi-Fi route or where the router is, they turn the Wi-Fi off. Um, that's the safest way to go. If you have to have Wi-Fi, this will cut 95% of the radiation out, and you'll still have Wi-Fi. I have a little three-bedroom home here that I live in, um, and everywhere in the house we, we get Wi-Fi. Um, and so um, it, it works great. I mean, we haven't run into anything that, that, we, uh, that, we, that we didn't have fast enough internet for. Um, so you can get, uh, I mean, watching YouTube videos, Netflix, all of that. We don't have any issue at all. Um, my son doing his college homework. So 
so that's that. Um, the other thing, um, let me pause the video. Hang on one second. One other thing that I wanted to, to show you guys, just because I've had questions about this topic on some of my other videos, and that is the thing you got to know about RF radiation is it also dissipates with distance. Um, so when you're testing this, you want to make sure you're always testing it at the same distance from the source, um, both before and after a test. Um, so you don't want to like test it up real close and then put it in the router guard and then test it real far. You know what I mean? So um, I, right now I'm doing it at about four feet away, but the reason is I want to show you how distance affects it. So turn this on really quick. Okay, so we're, you first turn this on, it takes it a while to settle. Okay, 160, 200. So it's reading about like it was reading a minute ago. Now, as I move forward towards the router guard, you'll watch as the radiation readings will get higher and higher. Oh yeah, it's like five, 600, we're right next to the meter now. So the reason I wanted to show you that is if I, if I was testing it without a Wi-Fi router guard and I had a meter that went up high enough, as I got closer, it would have got a lot higher as well. It does block, the right Wi-Fi router guard blocks 90, 95% of the radiation. But you need to know right around the router guard, you still are getting, you know, unsafe levels of radiation right there. So um, what it seems to me is once you get about five, six feet away from it, it's dissipated to where it's right close to the three to six area that you're, that you're wanting it to be. So what I recommend is, is that you put it in a room, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want your desk right here where you're working on your computer right next to the router, uh, Wi-Fi router, even though it's in uh, the router guard, just because you're still getting three or 400 microwatts per meter squared coming at, coming out of it. But it's better than, you know, 2,000, 3,000 microwatts per meter squared, obviously, but try to find a, you know, put a room where your Wi-Fi router is that's, you know, where nobody's going to be going within 12, you know, 10, 12 feet of, of your Wi-Fi router in any direction. That's just uh, a little tidbit there I wanted to add. Or hardwire, then you don't have to worry about it. Well, anyway, I hope that helps. That was, I've gotten questions about that particular issue, so I just wanted to make sure I put that in this video. So we'll call that a wrap. I appreciate it. Hope you, hope this vi uh, video helped you. And uh, by the way, don't forget to uh, subscribe and like the video. That helps us get more people seeing it. Anyway, appreciate it. Thank you.